Alrighty then, it's time for AD Garen top lane. Let, and it is, of course, a ranked game. Which one? And by AD, I mean Ass Destroyer Garen. Because Tank Garen just doesn't do anything. Which do, the Tank Garen pretty much just sits there and sure he spins, but most of the time you're just kind of stealing kills. Ass Destroyer Garen does what his name implies, destroys people, ass blasts, drives his sword up their asshole so deep they end up spitting out blades for a while. Either way, I am against a Ribbon, which is a positive matchup versus Garen, and the Diana and the Yasuo, which is two more melee-esque champions that I can destroy. The Ribbon quickly learns that not to fuck with me because I just took away half her health. If it wasn't that for that potion, she'd be even lesser. It'd be less health at the moment. So I just flash on her, spin on her, use her ignite. And for some reason, she decides to walk back towards me. It's like she completely forgot that I'm going to murder her ass any chance I get. She has a teleport, which is also a huge disadvantage. And just comes back to the lane, back to farm. And once again, I just take her down to less than half health. She's about a fourth health right now. She didn't learn her lesson. And so even if you tell her twice, she's not going to learn. Two black eyes isn't enough. Unfortunately for me, I have no Ignite or Flash, so I kind of have to play a little bit more safely. And she also has a bit of a minion advantage, so I can't completely dunk her. I survive with a sliver of health and flee to heal myself. I'm going to go back, back to my base and buy myself Vampiric Scepter and a Longsword. Vampiric Scepter, not exactly the greatest thing for a lane, but it builds into Tiamat Hydra, which you can actually use while you spin. And it actually doesn't interrupt your spinning, so you get this free extra damage while you do your spin to win shit. And again, she kind of disrespects the win, the spin to win, and gets taken down by a whole lot. Now, it's just kind of her being pushed down, and me trying to play it safe against Diana, who honestly isn't that scary against a Garen, because I just, you know, dice her in half too. Either way... Said so Garen, I've, I've, as I've always stated, Garen is a really strong top laner. And by the way, I didn't even know she DC. I just thought she went home because she was getting her ass destroyed. Garen is a really strong top laner for carrying la carrying against matchups that don't completely stop him. In this case, again, he, I thought he was like the absolutely perfect, most beautiful, handsome pick you could ever make. The rivet face checks the bush and pretty much gets diced up to pieces, and she's pretty much on the ropes right now. I fuck up my Q, and but even then, if I hit her, I would have just chunked her a little bit. I have my ultimate. I'm just waiting for the opportunity to kill her. So she goes home. I guess she teleports back top, and she makes a ridiculously huge mistake here. <clears throat> I'm pushing against her lane taking as much farm as I can as, as well, and she's also pushing up against me too. I can't dunk her on her tower. But I can one I can kill her from the remaining health. So for some reason she gets too close to me. Flash W ignite and just oh boom dead whatever her ass was liberated. So like it's it's a lot of players who don't really respect the amount of dunking power characters like Garen or Darius has. If you give me the chance to murder you, I'll definitely take it. She I, she had no reason to even push out to me. The minions were gonna push towards her, so she would have been safe. Either way, she gets her revenge right now because I think, you know, her pussy's being ready to slap again. Uh, the Diana is coming up the river and the ribbon, I should have expected that. She leads me down to the river instead of just going back to her base. I get baited into a Diana and I get unmercifully killed. Completely annihilated. I got, you know, I got ass blasted there. You know, I, I wanted to be the one pussy slapping, I got my ass slapped. By the way, I come back with the vengeance. My teammates are down bottom and mid are kind of doing some really random shit, and I really don't care because I'm Garen. I just focus on myself. And just watch this next kill. It's probably one of the most glorious things you'll ever see. Once again, the Riven is trying to get CS, but whenever she gets close, I decide to spin on her and take her down to 50% health. I couldn't use my ultimate quick enough, but the Riven, for some reason, decides to get really close to me. She, she jumps at me and just gets murdered. It's like, the hell you do this? You can't fuck with America. I destroy the tower, and, you know, I'm about to go home, heal myself up after I take these little minions too, you know, money for me, capitalism. The enemy, Diana, shows up from River right now. And I, I just charge her because I can silence her and stop any goddamn combo. And also, I took her down to one-third of the health with just one spin and one Q. I wait in this bush because she's going to jump on me and she's going to jump into the face of a tornado. And she's taken down. If she had just turned around and hit me one more time, she probably would have taken me out. Instead, she just feeds me even more. 
But remember what I told you about Riven? You know, you could tell a bitch once or twice, but sometimes they don't listen. The Diana. The Diana comes towards me and she thinks, Oh, this tower is gonna keep me safe. And no, I have my ultimate. I'm gonna spit on you and kill you before you're, the silence wears off. So she dies again. She doesn't get a chance. I'm pretty sure her team was like, Diana, the fuck? It's a Garen. You can't outman a Garen. So there you go. Another free kill for the, for the Spin Master. And right now my team is dominating, of course, as you can see. But my Amumu kind of gives a free kill to them because he thought... Well, not my Amumu, my... Uh, bro, bar, what is this guy's name? Braum, there we go. He tried to give... He gave a free kill to Ribbon because he thought he could 1v1 her. Here, I just try to go, go gung-ho on Yasuo, but he gets saved by the Diana. The Amumu and the Zerath are not enough to save me. I probably should have turned around and dealt some damage to Diana instead of running like a bitch. I forgot. I'm supposed to be a man, not a hoe. So, I go back and buy Black Cleaver, so I can sp do even more spin damage, and then when I buy the Hydra, I'll do more spin damage, just AoE damage galore. If any of them, if any of the melee get clumped up together, I will destroy them, and I, and which is such the case here. I jump on Riven and just spin and just obliterate her health, of course, Abumu ends up picking the kill. Then I go straight up towards the enemy team, Thresh dies. I think right now we catch Diana and then she dies. Spin to win. Amumu picks up the three kills, so I honestly think they all should have gone to me. But, you know, the world belongs to Garen. I die. I get dropped by the little girl. And then my teammates sort of pick up two kills. But then Riven shows up and she picks up two kills. I believe she kills the Zareth and I believe the, the Amumu tries fighting and then he gets bitch slapped too. So there goes Amumu, he gets dropped too. So now, even though the Riven got destroyed in the early game, even though she got the siege, she's 5-5. Five five. Technically, it's really strong for her because all she really needs to do is kill one person and she'll be putting value into her team. On the other hand, me, I need to kill at least one person and protect my teammates. But of course, I'm not going to protect them, I'm going to continue killing. And that's my whole intention. So, either way... As Destroyer Garen builds, will build, if it can eventually build some tanky stuff, because otherwise your ass destruction will get stopped after you kill one person. You gotta be able to just bulldoze people throughout the course of the fight. So after Hydra, I am gonna build a tanky item. And after the tanky item, either I have to build another uh, resistance item in order to maintain my livelihood, or build yet another damage item. Preferably something like Ghost Blade or Last Whisper. So we kill the Riven, I get unmercifully beaten down, and the rest of my team decides to, you know, hug the enemy team and die as well. Slowly, too. Like, Caitlyn gets caught, the Zerath gets killed, and then Amumu slowly gets beaten up. That's what he gets for trying to join the party. Nobody likes him. He didn't bring any beer. Alrighty then, so, since my team is a little, th kind of threw their lead a little bit, I gotta be a man and start getting it back. So I'm looking for picks to kill. I'm looking for one straggler so I can murk their asses. Here I catch the, the Diana, and of course, Caitlyn thinks she can get the kills. No, I steal it for myself. Every kill belongs to me. I'm Garen. I'm the ass destroyer. So we get ourselves a Baron. We killed ourselves a Diana who was just lo being loose somewhere in the river. And we go for the Gusto. Now, the only one on the enemy team that could possibly stop me is the Ezreal, because you kite my ass for kingdom come. So hopefully the Randuin Zoman can slow him down. Here, Riven runs away. She goes through the bushes. I wasted my flash just trying to catch her, and I'm, like, surprised she was smart enough to find a wall to jump over. I push back top. My teammates are pushing down mid, and then the rest of the enemy team, uh, well, they're going to close in on them. We have Baron, at least, so it's not going to be as easy. Diana comes from behind right now, but she just gets CC'd and then just gets fucking destroyed. Unfortunately, she doesn't die. My team does. Well, at least Braum dies. Then my team decides to go a little bit more gung-ho. We turn on the Ezreal. Right now, Yasuo decides to get too close to me and just gets immediately destroyed. It's like deciding you want to box Mike Tyson for some reason just because you think he's a has-been. And he decides to knock your teeth out. I go to Ezra because I really want to kill this little this little kid. And then Riven just she just chases after me. I'm like, Oni-chan, I don't want your Desu. And then just uh, destroys my ass. Actually, Diana comes right now and steals it, so whatever. So, I buy boots, finally. I still don't even have Hydra. I haven't even upgraded the damn item. And I realized I should have probably just farmed something and bought it. And at this point, Hydra is not really the best choice, 
or a last whisper ghost play would have been better but my intention throughout the whole game was sort of to why i wanted to split push and kill any bitch that came at me Either way, we kill ourselves a Riven, who went too gung-ho on the Caitlyn. Then we turn our attention to the Diana and the Yasu. I believe we catch the Yasu and we murk his ass before he gets to do anything. So he gets dropped, but right now Diana goes all Super Saiyan and destroys the rest of my team in the background. I believe she kills the Caitlyn, I believe she kills the Zerath, and I believe Braum also gets killed. However, I managed to kill the Diana. And the rest of the enemy team just sort of backs away. We can't get any more kills, so we run for our lives. Still, though, we came out ahead there, I think. Three for three, and some damage to the tower, and uh, we're just pretty much taking advantage of everything. Let's get ourselves another dragon. Again, I want to kill Ezreal before a fight happens, because he's the only one who can piss me off throughout the whole thing. Either way, I'm just looking for a... For an advantage, right? I have my flash up, I can jump on someone, spit on them, and probably ult them before they do anything. Baron is up, and we're deciding to bait out the fight. So watch how this goes. It's a really messy, disgusting fight. I believe my teammates managed to catch Thresh. Yeah, they catch... Yeah, they catch Thresh. Everybody just gang, gangs up on them. The enemy team doesn't respond appropriately. I, I zoom around. I catch Diana, and I want to ult her, but she uses her little hourglass shit. And then I ult her anyway, just to uh, dunk her ass. So we get we kill two people, but the response was awkward. The Riven tried recalling next to us. Of course we're going to catch her dumbass. And then Ezra comes in to piss me off. And I'm like, motherfucker, do you know who this is? I get clip him with the rando and I flash over. I start dealing tons of damage. He tries running away. But of course, Garen sees, when Garen sees what he wants, Garen takes it. And of course, Ezra dies. In no chance in hell. I go back as the rest of my team all I said, obtains a Baron and then goes about their day. I go bottom to push down the lane. Uh, I push it down. And then unknowingly, the Riven is going to decide to split push right now. Actually, I, I go back, I buy an item, I finally complete the Hydra, I, I upgrade my, or change my trinket to something else. And while the rest of my team pushes down mid, I go out to the Riven again with a much reckless abandon. I just want to kill her, because Riven players need to deserve, learn their place, not to fuck with manly champions like Garen. I try to kill her, she tries to do some wall hopping trick, but I know where she's going. And I'm very fast enough to chase. Uh, I'm fast enough to chase her. And I guess she's just trying to run away. It's like Riven Senpai. I'm trying to show show you my desu. And she runs away, and the game is pretty much over. My teammates are taking it, and Riven couldn't contribute to its defense. But alas, it doesn't matter. S Destroyer Garen had a good show and was able to display his great masculinity. So hooray for Garen!